I just woke up from my six hour of beauty sleep. Now I know what you're thinking. How the hell did Kush wake up and his beard looks this majestic? No oil, no care, no uh, how to grow your beard 101 cream. None of that. Pure majestic Iranian genes. Now I know most of you are crying right now, right now with few pieces of hair on your face. But save your tears. You should put the, down your tears for the person who went on a date with this woman. I'm gonna take you back home. Oh. I'm gonna take you back home where you can uh, get yourself some cup noodles. Or something. You want to take me Cause... home? Yeah, I'm gonna take you home. I look like this I'm take you home. in your car right now, and you want to take me home? Yeah, I'm gonna take you home. You sure about that? I'm pretty sure you guys are confused right now. So let me give you a little bit of context. Bro asked this girl out on a date. She dressed up normally. I don't see any special thing about her dress. And bro was like, let me get to know you a little bit. Let's go for a coffee. Let's go through a drive through get some co coffee Starbucks. Maybe go by the beach, cruise around a little bit and get to know each other. And she's offended and is insulting him because I look like this. And you are taking me to Starbucks? Minimum, you need to take me to five hundred dollar dinner. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you can you can get any other day, right? Just like you said, you can get any dude to come and pay for your meal and take you out and wind down you, right? You can you can get that at any so, time, right? So now we're not going on the date because you don't want to pay more than Starbucks. Oh, it's not bad. It's, the money's no option. So it's if just... money's no option, then why aren't we going on the date? <clears throat> like an actual date. Now, if bro was hungry for kittens, I need to be very fa family friendly, guys. Uh, YouTube keeps on taking my shit down, so I need to be very family friendly about the words that I use. Now, bro, if he was hungry for kittens, he would have, you know, been like, okay, you know what? Sure, why not? Let's go to a dinner. Anything for you, a pookie. But bro has been through all of this before. He knows that... You know, you guys see that trend on TikTok, right? Where on the first day, they take the girl on a shitty car. Then the next day, a GTRS or like a McLaren, he opens the key. You know, she's worth it. She doesn't want me only for my money. She likes me for me. He wants to test the waters. He wants to go out on it. For me as well, like when I used to go out on dates, I go, I get some drinks. I, you know, like Starbucks or coffee or shisha. We go by the beach, we chill, we sit, we talk. Sure, $500 dinner. Even if you have the money, ladies, if someone takes you for a $500 dinner, they want one thing. Kittens, meow. And like I said, he's been through this before. He knows what he's doing. And the second she came out and she said, oh, I dress like this. You, you can only afford Starbucks and this and that. Any guy can take me on a date. Uh, you are nothing. <clears throat> Even if I get out of on the road right now, every guy w would love to take me on a date. When you trying to put me on blast. Like you got your phone out filming this inter interaction right now. Okay, For because what reason? I thought I was getting pranked at this point. Okay. Like, it feels like it's not real because I've never had a grown man take me to Starbucks for a date. First of all, leave Starbucks. Starbucks is shit. No one goes to Starbucks anymore. I'm talking about go for a coffee or anywhere. And for this is to all the rich people watching my videos. Guys, from the bottom of my heart, fuck you. You are ruining the standards for all the women for us. And bro, leave some for us. Take them to like some normal dates. So when we go out with them, you know, the standards will be like normal. Not like $1,000 dinner. Last day took me to this date. And you are not, you take me to only for a coffee? Well, obviously this is just most of the women nowadays. But there are some good ones left. Don't, don't worry. If you if you don't make it to like $100,000 a month, then don't worry. There are still good women out there. Probably your cousin or something. I'm kidding. What is this, grown, high school? You never had a grown man in general. Because, uh, you know, you acting really unappreciative. Like, you expect me to take you, you to some five-star restaurant right out the gate. You know what? I'm going to do you one better. I'm not even going to take you home. You know, what? Any any dude can come and get you and take you out, right? Okay, cool. Let me get, let me go ahead and make sure that's the case. Um, we'll pull over right Are here. you serious? Right? Yep, You're go ahead not get out. serious. Right? Are you? Go ahead and get out. <laughs> you know what? Yep. Whatever. Go back on your profile. Ask Whatever. one of them dudes to pick you up. Take you out. Yeah. Ladies, this man right here is broke. He's broke. Look mm -hmm. at it. Now, most guys in this situation, they would just, you know, put, leave her on the street, you know, where she belongs and, uh, you know, dip. But he was a gentleman enough to be like, let me at least take you home and I'll never see you again. And she just takes out her phone and shoves it on his face. 
You look at me. You don't take me on expensive date. Fuck you. Bro was too calm for all of this, and he obviously didn't want to waste his time. Now, from the looks of it, I mean, bro is. He's not. He's doing good for himself. He drives a Tesla. He looks like he makes good amount of money, and he looks like he just got out of a relationship and he started to go on the whole dating life again. And he's just getting a taste of how the market is out there now. Like if you go ask most women nowadays, what do you bring to the table? They will say one thing: I bring my beautiful self and my kitten. And I want to point out: it's like, ladies, this man is broke, broke. Uh, what about you? How much do you make? What it's it's a it's a automatically a man's job to do everything. Once you're in a serious relationship, once you're in a serious marriage, that's when it's everything is a man's responsibility. That's the way I am as well. But for a woman, if someone comes and tells me like broke, how much do you make? Like they make nothing. These bitches are jobless, and they're like, you are broke because you're not taking me to a six star restaurant. End of the day, you want to pick someone, a woman who would raise your kids, who would, you know, take care of you and your family. Not someone who just wants to live the lifestyle. Yes, lifestyle is very nice to have, but if that's all they want, then good luck for them being the mother of your children. And good luck dealing with them at this point. Going for like a Starbucks or a normal coffee date, you know, cruise around in the car. It's, it's a normal date to go to, but even if bro took her to like a... Nice restaurant by the beach, not like a, nothing too fancy. She still would have complained and be like, yo, what is this? But I get it to a point where, you know, this is just standards that they have. But it's very unnecessary for to bring the camera out and start calling them names. Sometimes you got to think with your head and not your head. Because you will be stuck. If he, this guy wanted the kitten that day, he would have been stuck. He would have been miserable by now. Just being in her presence. And he would look back and say, I should have taken her to McDonald's and nothing else because that's what she's worth. But the world is moving too fast. Like 20 years ago, 30 years ago, you take them on a date for a coffee. It used to be good. Even 10 years ago, it used to be normal. But social media is ruining literally everything for everyone to a point where everyone wants to live the lifestyle. And if you don't have money, don't come close to me. Now, let me stop you there before you come to me and say, oh, it was a cheap date. Oh, having standards nothing wrong with having standards you know he should take me to a five-star restaurant and treat me like the queen that i am but one thing these girls nowadays think that oh just having a hot body and having a octopusy that makes you a queen even though you don't have to bring anything to the table just have these things and you are the queenest of the queens but don't get shocked when a man has standards as well don't cancel him just because he wants a respectful woman who wants you know for him to get married and start a family with and i see nothing wrong with even if you make fifty thousand dollars a month it's pretty it's a good amount of money even if you make fifty thousand dollars a month there's nothing wrong with going for a coffee doesn't matter you're there for them you're not there for their lifestyle like if you actually like someone you would go on a date no even if you don't do anything even if you just cruise around maybe get snacks on the way you're there for them not their lifestyle if you want to go for the lifestyle go get the sugar daddy like i said even if you have the money i would suggest you to take them to a, like a normal average date to see how it is because if you take them if you give them too much on a first date they're gonna have high expectations and there's a very high chance that they're gonna like you for your lifestyle and not like you for you the person that you are it's actually a good lesson for everyone to learn but bro definitely Realized the situation, neutralized the situation, and he was like, take care, bitch, bye. Anyways, that was it for today's video. Just wanted to share this with you guys. Take care of yourself, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.